Good evening, dear ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad to see you all here today. And we are ready to start our next webinar devoted to channels in traditional Chinese medicine. And today it will be a webinar about kidney channel. Let me remind you that it's a regular webinar and it's based on the offerings of the Vedapal's team specialist and PhD reflexologist Sergei Kasintsev. Sergei Kasintsev is one of the authors of Vedapal's acupuncture extension and other extensions such as biorhythms, for example. And if you have any questions for Sergei, please feel free to send them uh, to us and Sergei will be glad to share his ideas with you. So that's our uh, webinar number eight in this series of these webinars. So today we are going to talk about the eighth channel, kidney channel. Let's get it started. As you remember, that's our regular scheme of discussion. We are going to examine main characteristics, projection area and functional use of the kidney channel as well as PowerPoints of this channel and uh, we are going to check a particular practical methods of passing for this channel. This channel is called Zhu Shao In Shen Jin and it means that as you can see from the name Zhu it is connected to our legs so it legs channel and uh, to be more exact it starts at our legs. Then you can see Shao Yin that means energetic axis uh, and it's interesting because Shao Yin is the d deepest level of energy and it also sometimes called like a minimal Yin or final Yin. If we would translate it from Chinese, uh, particular it means reduced in, uh, but it's a kind of uh, confusing thing. Please be careful and don't mix it. Here we've got uh, the following situation. We've got in energy, and for in energy it is the lowest position but at the same time it is the strongest position so Shao Yin is the lowest the deepest level of energy but at the same time it is the most uh, in energy if we can say so it is similar to the temperature for example mm, you are you know that uh, when it's very cold uh, in winter usually there are some um, low temperatures and uh, the lower temperature is uh, the colder weather is so that's similar idea here now we've got our showing axis and uh, it is the deepest one the lowest so it means that uh, there is Mm, uh, the most concentrated in uh, on the deepest axis. In the next part of the name you can see it's Shen. Shen means kidney in Chinese and uh, then Zin mm, which means energy system where our energy flows. As we've mentioned, Shaoyin is the deepest lowest position and it connects kidney and heart channels. These two meridians are responsible for our in component, uh, for our center of energy. Talking about kidney, they save our inherited energy, energy which we get from our um, parents. And this energy is very important. It is necessary for our life-sustaining activity. And sure, it depends on the heart, whether we are going to live or not. 
as well as on the physical, emotional and uh, mental levels. All our emotions are connected to our heart. Uh, for example, if a person is excited, then his heart rate um, increases. Mm, and uh, and cardiac rate itself increases uh, and um, probably working with the Veda Pulse device you have already um, recognized uh, how much information uh, lays beneath the cardiac rate how much information our heart rhythm brings. Talking about uh, spiritual level, I need to mention that the heart saves Shane spirit. Mm, that's interesting because Shane spirit concept sounds similar to Shane as a kidney in Chinese, but at the same time uh, science hieroglyphs, they are different. So, uh, Shen spirit is the spirit uh, that allows us to adjust to our life um, and to be um, a person with strong will. It has a positive effect if it's strong. So, our heart works at all three levels, material, emotional and spiritual. And the kidney channel, it works with the inherited energy, with the information um, going from our parents. It uh, saves it and it regulates it uh, so that's the core idea of the kidney channel. Let's remember our Usin system. According to it, uh, kidney channel um, is connected to water element. And do you know that in element um, uh, belonging to water category it's like the double in. It's in in the in. According to Ayurvedic concepts, kidney channel belongs to vata category, and uh, its activity time um, lays between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. It's the border uh, when we accumulate fluids, and our kidney are ready to excrete uh, all fluids on physical level. Uh, for example, if uh, a man, if a person drank some um, fluid in the evening and then in the morning he has a swollen uh, in the facial area or for example some uh, swollen lower limbs, then it says about uh, waste uh, kidney on physical level, on physiological level, now, because kidney, uh, they should have a rest after the time of their maximal activity, and if kidney um, suffer from waste, it can be due to using some preservatives uh, in nutrition, calories, or for example, flavor enhancers, it all will be a reason for accumulating this waste. Uh, due to this reason, kidney cannot uh, function properly and they need uh, additional rest. In this case, sure, the first recommendation will be to change the diet and exclude um, above mentioned uh, unnecessary um, elements. These uh, elements can also influence our liver, 
and our lymph system and can um, damage it badly. So to avoid it, it's necessary to change the diet in this case. Ensure another recommendation will be to um, use enough uh, liquid per day. Uh, as you probably know, um, normal normal range is using uh, 30 milliliters per one uh, kilogram of body weight. And pay attention, uh, about 70% of the total volume uh, should include uh, just still water. And one more important rule here, 90% of all daily liquids should be used, uh, should be consumed uh, before 6 p.m. in your local time. Let's go on to main characteristics of a kidney channel. You see kidney uh, are pre-celestial foundation of the body. They can keep our inherited uh, energy and responsible for body strength, for gaining skills and their manifestation. Also, kidney helps to control the willpower and memory. Uh, what's about pre-celestial foundation? Uh, then say in pre-celestial, Mm, Chinese uh, offers mean the time when a baby has not uh, come to this world yet. So it's like a, a fetus position. So it's like a situation when there is a basic uh, there is a basic, but um, the baby uh, has not um, seen the sky yet, and only after the birth, a baby comes to his new current status, uh, which is called um, after celestial condition. So, such an interesting concept uh, in. Chinese traditions. Uh, then, talking about yuan energy, inherited energy, we should mention that it is saved in kidney. And you may remember that uh, yuan point belongs to each channel. There is a, a specific point on each channel from which uh, the energy of kidney uh, can be used, uh, can be involved in particular energy system. It means that uh, kidney energy uh, can be uh, included uh, in uh, each system functioning, in each meridian functioning by activating this uh, specific yuan point. And uh, it can be an accelerator for all biochemical and energetic reactions of the body. Some specialists uh, believe that this inherited kidney energy uh, can be restored. Mm, but at the same, other specialists say that mm, no, it uh, can never be restored. And the only thing that we can do is to spend it rationally. What does it mean? It means to use only natural food, um, to live in a clear ecology environment, and at the same time on a mental level it means to feel and to live only with positive emotions and in positive atmosphere. Then, under all these terms, uh, this energy 
will be spent rationally and it will be positive for our organism. Another interesting concept, um, which is quite common among authors who are working with uh, this topic, is concept of two minds. Emotional mind, which is called sin, and uh, rational mind, which, which is called shame. Emotional mind initiates uh, our activities, it initiates action, it gives us uh, a possibility to create. And uh, it is similar to so-called uh, white monkey, with which uh, specialists of Tsigun and other meditation techniques works. Uh, such uh, specialists usually say that we need to come down this white monkey, this emotional mind, because it seems to be like a naughty child. And if it starts anything, then it's hard to stop it. And talking about rational mind, uh, it, it is connected uh, more to our uh, abilities uh, to analyze it helps us to analyze the situation uh, and helps to understand details. Uh, and sure, it is essential to organize coordination of these two minds. And on how we are interacting depends our um, emotional sphere, our mental sphere, as well as uh, a character. Also, you can see kidney produce and manage uh, uh, a special substance necessary for procreation, growth and development. Uh, they influence sexual function through this substance, zinc and our bones. You see, the substance provides vital functions for all organs and systems. And uh, talking about uh, procreation, for example, um, we should mention that uh, men, they have a physiological manifestation of this zinc substance and it will be a seminal fluid. Um, women don't have physiological manifestation of this substance but at the same time uh, they possess it because this energy is responsible for our willing for life and it helps us uh, to keep our tissues uh, strong and uh, it helps our systems in the body to uh, stay safe and sound. If a person can achieve such a uh, condition, then they say that uh, his organs are full of zin. Talking about Western medicine, we should mention that uh, there are no similar concepts. Uh, as you can see from main characteristic of a kidney channel, its biological active points uh, can be used in uh, different uh, genital urinary disorders and also in cases connected to uh, some weak bone tissue for example, in osteoporosis. So, you can see kidney channel saves our inherited energy and influences almost all tissues of our body. Mm. So, you can see it affects bones, for example, and uh, joints of lower limbs.
and for our bones and lower limbs, this channel will work as a cooling and it will bring cool when it's necessary. because of its uh, in function. Also you can see uh, it can influence uh, digestive, reproductive uh, and other system in our body and responsible for the condition of the bone marrow. That's interesting because bone marrow uh, in Eastern countries is not just the same um, that uh, we get used to understand under this concept uh, in Europe. And talking about uh, Chinese approach, it is a bit more practical. They call everything which belongs to our bones, bone marrow. So everything from what our bones consist of, it's bone marrow in Chinese tradition. And talking about uh, European point of view, uh, usually bone marrow is responsible for our immune system and for uh, reproduction of our blood, as well as our brain and uh, central nervous system because they are also connected to our bones. There is such an opinion that Chinese used to know about uh, these uh, thin materials uh, even in ancient times and uh, Chinese myths Chinese mythology brings this knowledge to us with its specific uh, namings. For example, there are such interesting names uh, as concepts as jade chamber, for example, or diamond pillar and others. And only recently a new theory arose and it says that this Mm, philosoph kind of philosophy mm, brings not only a specific uh, mythological mm, terms, but they mean particular zone in the body. More you can find about this um, naming in Taoist, Taoist practices and if you are interested uh, you can read about it a bit more. In Taoist practices uh, it, to, it is connected to particular zones in the human body uh, to what uh, one wants to influence. So when the, there is a mentioning of jade chamber, for example, uh, or diamond pillar, it means that the person doing meditation is trying to influence particular zone in the body. And it's quite new theory, and if you are interested in it, you can read about it more. Or you can ask our specialist, Sergei Kasintsev, and he will be glad to share his ideas and knowledge. We continue discussing main characteristic of the kidney channel. You can see it opens uh, into ear. So it means hearing ability depends on this system. Mirror of the channel. 
is hair on the head and stone bones. It is connected to the salt taste and emotions connected to this system and from which we can influence kidney channel are fear or fearlessness uh, as well as anxiety you see so for example if someone feels such an um, inner anxiety without some other reasons then it may say about imbalance in kidney meridian and uh, if you've got such a patient um, along with other um, diagnosis you make uh, you can check it on meridian step in the Veda Pulse software so for example you are opening this step and if there is some strong imbalance in kidney channel it will be one more indication for you to work with it because kidney channel is connected to this emotion mental manifestations of this channel are wisdom will strength of spirit love openness and ability um, to socialize Mm, ability to socialize is very important and it means all conditions when we are ready to communicate with our environment when we are ready to talk to the world because we are the part of the world and world at the same time is the part of us mm. and it's quite positive condition because it, it restores kidney function and uh, it allows to reduce UN energy spending and we are coming to power points of the kidney channel sure they are points of five basic elements you see the first point here belongs to wood category it is located uh, on food, on soul. The second is connected to fire. The third is about earth element. And at the same time, it is a uh, yuan point. It means it helps to redistribute yuan energy. Then point number seven on this channel belongs to metal category. And point number ten belongs to water element. Please see the interspace point which is analgetic and it also can uh, reduce blockage in the C flowing. Here it is point number five. Low point which is connected to UI point uh, of uh, bladder is the fourth point on the kidney channel and here are also more and true points let's talk about uh, effects of these biological active points and please remember that you can always look for it uh, in uh, Vedapal software extensions because there is an option uh, of Atlas with all biological active points, their description, location, and effects. So, if you'd like to brush up a little bit your uh, knowledge, you can open reflexology tab, uh, acupuncture tab, or biorhythms tab. Let's continue. Uh, first biological active point of the kidney channel is called uh, Yun Tsuan. And uh, it can be translated uh, like uh, rough source. It belongs to wood element. 
can reduce energy in the kidney, can cool and uh, reduce uh, speed of uh, energy flowing. Point number one, it's one of the points belonging to uh, five gates points category. Uh, they are the points um, that are powerful and responsible for our connection to the environment. And these points should work constantly. So to find this point, one needs to put one leg over the other in the position then foot uh, turn to you. After that, clasp your toys to see the small fossa in the upper part of your foot. It's the zone where our point is located. It provides contact with earth energy and it connects us to the earth energy as well as it works uh, in both directions. Maybe remember in our first webinars we discussed a legend about uh, initial person according to Chinese tradition, initial man uh, on the earth and the, uh, as uh, his followers we should connect the harmony between the sky and the earth which was broken previously. So you see earth energy rises through Yun Tsuan point and that's why it's uh, very positive when you've got a chance uh, to go barefoot because you can feel the energy of the earth or with a life substance and this point will be active and pay attention uh, you should walk in such an energetic manner it doesn't mean a uh, high speed of walking but it means being energetic and clasping your toys a little bit clasping uh, to activate uh, Yun Tsuan point. So you should clasp toys and relax them. Clasp and release like a small piston. Like if you are uh, grabbing earth energy and then releasing to bring it next. This point is uh, often blocked and it can be due to different reasons. For example, due to wrong shoes. For example, when your shoes are too tight, it can be not positive for biological active points on your, on your feet. You can check uh, whether the energy is blocked uh, in a very easy way. Uh, you should take off your shoes, sit down and take your one leg and put it on your opposite thigh. So put your leg on the opposite thigh and you'll see especially if you clasp your toys, you'll see this fossa. When you'll see this fossa, try to massage it. If you don't feel any unpleasant feelings, um, any painful feelings, then it's okay. It means that this point is not blocked and works very well. If there is any aching pain or feeling of nope there, the energy is blocked here. Then use massage 
at least once a day to release it and uh, use it until your massage uh, will become um, unpainful. Optimal period for making this manipulation uh, is just before the start of uh, activity time of the kidney channel or in the first minutes of uh, these channels activity. The next point, number two, it is called Zhanggu and can be translated as a, a flame valley. It belongs to fire element and is located uh, a little bit anterior and below the tubercle of a navicular bone. It's like the in of inner surface. So please watch the inner surface of foot closer to the heel and you will see uh, there is uh, like an arc so move a little bit from its height and you will find an outstanding point it will be our biological active point. It cools unnecessary heat, comes down blood and it's specific point in different asthenic condition. So this point is recommended uh, to be included in prescriptions then a person feels a lack of strength. The next point, number three, is located uh, between ankle and Achilles tendon. In Chinese it is called Tai Si, which means sea of light. And it's Yuan point for this system. It means uh, that it can redistribute energy to different organs and it is believed that the maximum of effect uh, this point brings to people uh, who are 40 years old or older. It is one of so-called female points so it means that uh, it is very actual for women, but men also can use it. Uh, this point is also called a point of beauty and a point of youth. It restores hormones and allows women to look younger. But remember, as we mentioned, if we are living in the right way, using natural diet and our environment uh, is quite ecological. We are watching our emotions and feel only positive, trying to feel only positive emotions. Then this particular biological active point uh, will not be painful. And uh, we will not have uh, any problems in uh, urinary genitals here. So, good complexion and uh, a good mood without some emotional uh, instability. It's all, all about effects this biological active point brings. My next point is number four, point number four. Low point for the kidney channel, the joint point, which means great bell or big bell. It is located anterior
It is located in Terria from the place of um, Achilles tendon connection to heel bone. Look for this point from the inner side. First you should find uh, Achilles tendon and then uh, move along it uh, from the inner side until you find the, the zone of connection to heel bone. And here in this corner you will find the fourth point of kidney channel. It is often painful point. It's quite easy to explain. Our Achilles tendon uh, feels enormous, enormous uh, loads, enormous loads. Because all vertical position of our body is connected to this tendon and it feels tension. No wonder. So this biological active point can influence our blood circulation, especially in legs, but also it can be positive um, when working with blood circulation in the body, in the spine, and even with cerebral circulation. Uh, that's interesting, but uh, a lot of specialists say that uh, it can inf can even influence uh, our jaw relationships. So the way you bite is also connected to the position you stand. So if something changes in the position of your feet, in the way how you stand, then um, it can influence uh, the whole system because this tension, in the case of some um, wrong shoes, for example, uh, can appear some tension and this tension can um, be brought um, through the whole muscular system from our Achilles tendon to, to our head and to our hands. So, in these situations you can also work with this biological active point. And let's continue our engrossing webinar about kidney channel. Next point to discuss is the fifth point, Shui Tzu An, which means uh, spring or water source. It is located one tune below Tai C point, uh, it means below the level of uh, inner ankle. And to activate this point, you should press it uh, to the heel bone. It will be an energetic point for all system of kidney channel, and uh, it improves energy flowing in the channel. Mm, it improves energy flowing in the main meridian and also in uh, the tendus muscular meridian. It's very positive point for all types of kidney to our inner organs. Specific uh, effect of this point um, is connected to its uh, effects uh, in uh, uh, stranguria. So when a person has some disorders of urination, even in very acute situations, this point is recommended to be included in prescription. In female, it can be used um, uh, in menstruation if there are any disorders of uh, endocrine profile um, or if menstruation is painful or if there is not enough menstruation. Also, this point uh, is recommended to be used. Next point, number seven, 
full loop point means additional flowing. It's a tonic point for kidney channel. It is located too soon above the level of inner ankle along the border of mm, Achilles tendon. In this zone, the tendon uh, starts its transition to calf muscles and it, uh, it can be used in combination with point number four of a kidney channel. It has a specific effect. This point is uh, diuretic. It can be used in glaucoma or in overweight. The tenth point is located uh, in the area of our knee joint from uh, the inner side. At the inner edge of popliteal crease, so we can say that it's located a little bit posterior from uh, Uh, from condyle of our thigh. And searching for this point, you can use uh, the end of popliteal crease to find uh, the outstanding bone. Don't press this point when massaging. It is a local point in cramps and it can restore in energy if there is not enough of in in all conditions of in leg use this point point number 10 is connected to water element and you remember that kidney also connected to water uh, also belong to the water element so it's point which we call element in the element. Almost all points located uh, near uh, faults, near creases, uh, should be influenced uh, carefully. So be careful when pressing here because there are some big vessels and uh, to avoid any negative reaction, any spasms, we should be really careful in these zones. Point number 10 can restore in energy and are respons is responsible for ties with our body fluids. And we are coming to shoe and more points. Shoe point lays uh, on the first line of a bladder channel, one and a half soon from back a posterior middle line. It lays in the space between the second and the third lumbar vertebrae. So, uh, we can say that it lays um, at the waist level. More point is responsible for E, and it belongs to the bladder channel. It is point number 25 on the bladder channel. It is called Zin Main, Main Gates. To find it, uh, you should search for it at the age of the uh, 12th uh, rib. But pay attention, uh, rib, num rib number 12 can be different from the right and left side, can be of different size. Uh, so one text recommend us to search for this point uh, at the end of the 12th rib. Others say that 
uh, we should uh, find the intersection of the level of, of this 12th rib with the back axillary line. So uh, the recommendation of our offer Sergei Kosinsov is to palpate in this area slightly and uh, estimate the reaction which points give you. So you need to feel it. It's better to do uh, than person laying. Uh, laying sidewise. Or, um, or laying pronate. As you may remember, kidney are connected to urinary bladder. And this connection works through a point uh, number four of the bladder channel, low point for this channel, uh, together with the UN point of the uh, bladder, point number 64. Ensure it belongs to water element. According to Ayurveda, this channel is connected to Vata Dosha as well as um, lungs and uh, uh, as well as lungs and intestine. Uh, they are responsible for Vata Dosha in the body. And we said the time of maximum activity lies between uh, 5 and 7 p.m. According to rules of pulse diagnosis, it belongs to the husband category and it is connected to the wife category. Here it is pericardium channel, so it means it can mm, redistribute energy from low point number four, uh, air point number four, to and set point number seven, which will be your end point in that system. That's interesting slide because it is about the course of the channel. You can see it starts at our foot, then it goes to the inner side of the foot. Mm. Moreover, it starts on the sole, exactly, then it goes to the inner side of the foot. Then you see, it makes such an interesting loop here. Goes up along the inner surface of the shin, inner surface of the thigh, then it uh, crosses um, pubic area. It goes uh, near uh, and along the middle line of our body, along the abdomen, and in the area of the chest, it goes along the edge of the sternum to stop under clavicle in the point number 27. That was about the main channel. But don't forget also about tendus muscular channel. Uh, it is similar on the leg and uh, it is uh, in similar direction in the pubic area. Then um, it crosses um, 
perineum and goes to the spine uh, where it meets tendus muscular channel of urinary bladder so we can say that our back all our back uh, is connected not only to the bladder channel but uh, also to the kidney channel that we are discussing today Tendus muscular meridian uh, is responsible for our muscles and for moments it raises and meets and meets our head in the area of occipital bone and there are also branches to ears along the inner surface it raises uh, up to groin then gives a branch back and other branch repeats external course of a channel and gives our branches to more point point of more category then from this zone it uh, goes up and in the area of point number 27 uh, starts inner curse of this channel inner curse of the channel goes to our tongue tongue is connected to our heart functioning and you may remember that heart channel gives a branch to our tongue so that's the zone where two systems interact plus don't forget about inner curse uh, which goes uh, to our ear because it's uh, the branch um, that provides uh, the connection of uh, our channel to our hearing ability you can see it's a very diverse course of a channel and it has a lot of branches to all inner organs and uh, what's interesting uh, about this scheme Sergei Kasintsev says that um, he uh, has never seen uh, the full scheme of this channel so it's one of the best in his point of view uh, like the most uh, full but uh, that's a really complicated channel and uh, it needs some time to get acquainted with it it is connected to sacrum area it uh, enroll our hip joint so the projection area of uh, our uh, urogenital system is connected and can be influenced by using uh, biological active points of the kidney channel and it goes along uh, uh, the anterior surface from both sides so these zones are reflex zones for kidney and for urogenital system facial projection areas are chin and our ears also uh, a small circle uh, in front of uh, the tragus 
can also be named uh, one of projection areas uh, on the face connected to kidney channel. Uh, this zone is responsible for our uh, urogenital system and for your energy. And what's interesting, you can touch your ears and if they are firm and flexible enough, then it's quite good because our intellectual qualities depend on this symptom. <laughs> we can say that it's a sign of whether we are okay in this sphere or not. So if your ears are strong and firm and, uh, and flexible at the same time, it's okay. But if they are too too strong and even if it's hard to um, flex it, then you can watch your patients. Uh, usually they are people who are single-minded and usually stubborn. People have such uh, uh, ears hard to flex them. At the same time, pay attention mm, to the ears because uh, they can change uh, their firmness in cases uh, connected to immune disorders. So if there is any immune disorder, then ears mm, become softer. You can check this theory, just watch your patients or your friends to do it. So, um, the less activity of biological active points is and uh, where weaker these points are, then the softer your ears will be. You can see on the scheme, left side is more about men and right side is more about women. And in children, you also have to watch uh, different uh, ears. It depends uh, on the gender. There is an idea that ears are responsible for uh, the first uh, 14 years of our life. And uh, these 14 years should be divided into two parts, like first seven years and the second third years. And one ear works in the first seven years and uh, the second ear is responsible for the rest of them. In boys, it starts from the left side, and in girls, it starts from the right side. Uh, please remember, if you are working um, with auricular therapy, for example, if you're using our software extension auricular therapy, or you're just a specialist in this sphere and working with patients' ears, in any cases connected to painful syndrome in the ear, you should start your walking uh, from another side. So, first of all, work with uh, the side, with the ear, which is not painful. Then continue with a painful one. And now we are coming to practical launch of a small circle of energy circulation. To do it, uh, we should activate point number three on the channel of small intestine and make clapping of posterior middle meridian from sacrum to our head and to our nose uh, up to the upper lip. Then oh, we should activate uh, anterior middle meridian by means of point number seven 
of the lungs channel uh, and then continue our clapping to the pubis along the anterior middle line. Sorry, from the pubis uh, up to our lower lip. So you like moving um, energy to the area of our mouth. Energy comes to our mouth area and then it goes along the middle inner channel down and goes then along the anterior surface. It's like such an asymmetric eight. So put your tongue behind your teeth in the mouth. And touch your mouth inside with your tongue. Then continue clapping of the channel along its external course. Start from a point number one on your foot uh, and pay attention. You should uh, clap in an intensive way uh, with uh, corresponding sound to bring powerful effect. Like uh, if you are clapping hands, uh, you can feel sometimes such an itching feeling in your hands, uh, like small needles. So something similar to that, if we are talking about of about uh, level of influence. Then you are clipping inner surface. Uh, you should go to inner ankle along the inner surface of shin and thigh. If you feel that there is a tension in some zone, uh, please. Stop a little bit here, uh, try to palpate, try to massage. And then we should uh, go up and in the area of uh, our pubic, pubis, uh, we should be quite careful, don't forget about it. Um, and you should make uh, clipping like to uh, put your hand also to the zone of anterior middle line. Don't forget about um, area of your abdomen. And uh, if you are clipping legs, then you should do it uh, like on the right and on the left. When you are clipping abdomen, uh, you should also uh, remember about two branches here. Then please continue going. Continue going um, along the border of your sternum. And here it is recommended to use your fingers, fingertips. Uh, you should try to feel this area. Be careful, because clipping here and working with bulge collective points key here can influence your cardiac rate. So do it softly and uh, be tender. And then please finish just under the clavicle at biological active point number 27. Month of kidney channels activity is September. Uh, up to the 8th of October. It means that in September biological active points of this channel are the most open and you can get additional double effect working with them.
thank you for your attention. That's all about Kidney Channel. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask us. And uh, our team and Sergei Kasintsev will be happy to answer your questions. Thank you for being with us and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.